Let's just jump right into our next little segment of tonight because uh, Pop needs a reason to refill his shot glass. Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) Slope of vomit. Dad, I'm scared. (laughs) I like that. Pop's favorite graphic. (laughs) But these are some of my least favorite stories. If you haven't heard about these, consider yourself lucky. Florida school board member takes elementary school students on a field trip to a gay bar. Where did this happen? Broward County, Florida. Sound familiar? Happening in that county. If something nasty, disgusting, and degenerate is happening in Florida, chances are it's happening in Broward County. Why isn't DeSantis descending on these people and wrecking their lives? I sincerely hope that. I mean, first of all, you're taking them to a bar. Which is a no-go. That's already bad. But you take him to a gay bar. Yep. And and not in the cool, fun, electric six song well, kind te- of way. Well, technically, if the bar serves food, you can have people in there up until like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, depending upon the state. <sighs> now, after that point, they're, they need to be out. You shouldn't be taking kids to a gay bar. That's just, yeah. That's a big no, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm with this... Uh, person right here on twitter cheryl reynolds the kind of bar is not even the point it's a bar yeah you don't need to take kids to a bar no this is why you got to get your kids out of public schools and this is just the beginning let's travel a little bit north to kentucky the land of fried chicken and horse races Kentucky high school pep rally photos show students giving staff lap dances and spankings yeah, what the fuck? I, I just what? Like I remember in high school, you couldn't even like touch a teacher. Yep, they show students were dressed as Hooters waitresses, oh my God. serving what looked like alcohol in mugs, and male students dressed in skirts and wigs. It's a almost suspicion point, man. Uh huh. This reminds me of uh, what you just said there. Uh, a couple years back, they had this company commander forced his entire company to march around in, in high heel shoes. If I would have been a soldier in that company, I would have told the company commander, F off I'm not doing that. Yeah. I, I've I've said I've done that probably a couple about eighteen times in my career. I just yeah. had to be respectful in how it was said. Mm-hmm. But like, nah sir, um I think I'm gonna go with F off on that one. Not doing it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to go with a big F off. Come I'm, on, your, I'm your commander. You need to do what I tell you. I'm like, yeah, it's an unlawful order, sir. And yeah. I think I'm going to draft up a uh, undo command influence IG complaint, and, <laughs> and we can all just argue about it then. Uh, I'm going to defer back to the title of the stream. I can't imagine why this guy thought that he could, the principal of the school thought that he could get away with it. Could it be that he got away with something else that was Probably. just as egregious? Kentucky principal and man pageant photos sued over handling of serious 2019 field trip incident. And there's a trial scheduled for this in 2022. And he's allowed to keep his job. Wow. What happened? Mm. Oh, here we go. Court records from Perry Circuit Court in Kentucky show that Donald Happy Mobellini and two Hazard High School teachers were sued in 2019 for not properly chaperoning a trip to Washington, D.C. and New York City, where a student was Rapade. Oh no. Yeah. By another student. Oh, there's the there's the high school girls, minors in Hooters girl outfits, because this is totally standard Listen, dress code for public school. I'm gonna tell you right now. The dress code there is no dress school code in high school anymore. Those girls they they dress they're like, wearing the total whore uniform from like fifteen on, man. They dress like orn pay queens. Yeah. Ugh. They're whole professionals by the time they're like. <laughs> I mean, half of them are, are selling feet pictures on OnlyFans before they graduate. I know. By the by the time they turn 18, they're professional whole professionals. Yeah. You know, instead of no nut November, we need to just have it be a no simp year. You find out anybody has been paying money for an OnlyFans, you get your buddies together and you kick the shit out of them and, and tell them, hey, you're causing your own problem. You're overinflating these women's egos. There is a spinster bubble coming and it is going to pop like Hiroshima. Like these, these women are, you know, 
getting out of high school. I just can't believe the shit that's going on. I mean, the fact that they're monetized right out of the gate now, are we really surprised when these women have delusional standards and think that social media is representative of their actual market value? I was actually looking at some of those articles that show the swipe swipe ratios oh, man. between it men is. and women. Yep. And th these women are like, they're like swiping half a million times, and they're only swiping yes like five thousand. So it's like a percent. Yeah, it's it's less than one percent. <laughs> it's it's totally crazy. Yeah, and I'm sorry, ladies. Most of you are average. In yeah, fact, listen, half you, of you are below average. You can advertise your pumper mentals on <laughs> on whatever you want, but at the end of the day, you know you're selling a diminishing asset. You're a whole fashional. And your pumper mentals are going to, their value is going to go to nothing. Yeah, or if she likes it in the back door, it's a pumper nickel. Yeah, it could be a pumper nickel. Yeah. Good times. Okay, yeah. It's good bread for a sandwich, which you should make me when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Damn, we're horrible people. I know. It is what do you what get? It is. That's why we have noisemakers and other random things, you know? Mm -hmm. There you go. Watch Drunk Speak Live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern and bring the strong stuff. Now is not the time for beer. That comes later. <laughs>